Hey there, I hope you are doing good. I'm so excited to share this app that I discovered. It's called Vlog Now, and it's literally every editor's dream. Everything is right there for you. So if you're someone that's beginning to edit, this will be so perfect. And we are outside, and I just thought I'd shoot a small clip on the phone. And remember, this app actually works for Android, iOS, and it actually works on your laptop, your computer, whatever it is that you use, you can definitely get it, and it's free. It has no watermarks or anything. We're outside because it's nice and sunny and I just thought I'd shoot a small clip on my phone and that's the clip we're going to do some editing stuff on and you can let me know what you think because I've been using InShot, iMovie and this is my favorite app to be using on the phone right now. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Tatenda Hinani. If you're new to the channel, I make videos on content creation and TikTok videos. And I just thought I'd do something really interesting and something vlog like since we are using an app called Vlog Now. So let's get right into it and get to the editing. We're inside, we're gonna go right ahead and jump into the app. So you're gonna open the VN app, it's called VN. Uh, and then you're gonna go by the plus button right at the bottom. We're just gonna add the clip that we shot outside for fun. So you press plus so you can do so many things. If you want to do an overlay, you can choose overlays, like something like that. Um, and then what you can do is use, you can choose to use it or download it. And maybe I'm just gonna select these three photos. I found this really cool, to be really cool. Um, there's this picture that I used when I edited beforehand because I always wondered how people do that animation thing that had the watermark kind of running down their face. I will just choose these three photos. And then when I say next and play it, it does that. Like how cool is that? Anyway, so this is on templates on if you want to do that if you want to do an overlay if you want to do templates They have cool templates that you can use uh, Let's say maybe if we pick this one written through the city All right, if you want to use it you press use you click on I'm just gonna choose random photos so that I can just show you so that it fills up. So now that it's full, it shows nine photos. Then you can definitely do that. Play it. Focus. Something like that. So you can always just choose anything random. So I'm just showing you so that you know if you want to do something real quick that's already set up, you can choose cool photos depending on the mood. Anyways, we're gonna go where it says new project by the blue uh, icon with the scissors. Press on it and then we're gonna go to the recent folder. So the folder, the video that I just shot outside vlogging, since we're in vlog now, is that one. So that's how you add a new clip. So if you want stock footage, you can also choose if you want something maybe like a countdown or something before the video starts. We're just gonna do that. And if you want subtitles, you can go ahead and add that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. And then I'm gonna move this five, four, three, two. You can just literally drag it to the front and you are good to go. So before the video starts, like we can have a countdown just for fun. Uh, what's really nice also about this app is everything is stacked on top of each other. So if you want to add like a picture in picture, you can definitely do that. And if you want to add transitions or anything before the clip starts, you can just press the plus button as you can see, and then it will have like all these transitions, black and white, dissolve, blur, pixelate, a zoom in, a rotate, and that's how the video starts. So the five, four, three, two, one will just pretend it's the your YouTube intro or whatever intro that you're trying to do. And then the video actually starts playing, right? And the next thing I wanna do is probably like add like a title or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is go away. It says text to add a subtitle to be like welcome or something like that or vlog with me. You can choose a title and these are the kind of uh, text that you get. If you want a title template, all these are here for you. So I love the vlog one, the one that looks like, uh, you know, you just drew it with the pencil brush and we're just gonna say a vlog with me. So you can edit the text to say uh, welcome. Let's just change it just for interest sake. 
welcome and then once you're happy with that what you can also do you can say okay and then you can choose the motion that you wanted to come in with again the transitions you can choose whichever one that you want we're gonna do the spin i think i'm loving the spins as you come out and you can actually drag to see to see how long you want to keep the text in and you can make it small if you want it to be a lower third you can definitely do that and put it there or if you want it to be really big in front of the screen for just the welcome scene then you can definitely do that something i really discovered that was so cool to add sticker or PIP, you don't need to look where it's located. You just tap on top where the little icon is. You say tap to add sticker. So you can use stock footage like what was there before or your own videos. Or you can go ahead and add a sticker. And what you want to do is go by search. Then you have Jiffy. So we can look for a vlogging. You can type in vlog or search anything really and things will come up. So as you can see, I'm going to use this chick over here as the video starts and I'm just going to put it in the corner and then I can just put new vlog and I can literally make it cover the whole thing or put it right in the corner. And what you can also do is actually add motion to it, which is pretty cool so that they kind of slide in together. And once you're good with that, then you can tap underneath so you can stack so many pictures and pictures and it's already green screened out for you. So you don't even need to worry about that, but I'll get to the green screen part, which is pretty cool. So you can also ch check how long you want it to last for. All you just do is click on it and you can put motion and everything else that you want to put. I'm also going to put the slides so that when it plays together like that. It just pops up for a second then it's gone the other thing i also wanted to share is maybe if you want to say subscribe or something like that you can also go to the stickers like we did before just go where it says pip if you have any favorites that you have them if you have anything that you've used before it will keep it there and for interest sake we're just gonna say youtube and then if you want to look for the subscribe sticker you can definitely do that it's right there jiffy is there for you anything you want you will definitely get it right here and it's so awesome as you can see it's almost like how instagram makes it so easy for you to have these things and you can minimize and put it in the corner and you can also just determine how long you want it to come through for a second for three seconds for longer do you want it to stay throughout the whole video while you're doing this and also just put transitions and once you are happy with that, then you also put a transition for that. And then when you play them, they come in spinning at the same time and then they go away. The other thing that you can do is add music. You can do even sound effects, right? Uh, so maybe you put a transition or something like that. I'll put it where the transition that we put in, you can split the clip. And to do that, you just go underneath where it says split. So the app has template filter speed, a split trim uh, effects so if you want to add an effect right there where you split the clip you can choose any of them spin in spin out rotary uh, flash anything that you want so we're just gonna choose rotary just for interest sake so then when this clip comes through that's a transition that you choose for yourself and it's by FX. And once you do that, you can actually add a sound effect. So you go, it says tap to add music, sound FX. Then you're gonna go to funny or weather or whatever that it is. If it's a fast swish, you can listen to it and play it. You see how cool was that? So that there's a sound effect whenever there's a transition. It's another cool thing that I discovered that was really, really cool. And just for interest sake as well, if you want to add any music, you can either record something if you're doing a voiceover, which is the record button is right there. It makes it so easy, this app. You don't have to look for these things. They are right there. We're going to go, it says music. So I want some vlog music, right? So these are the ones that I've used before. You can choose any that you want. So I'm going to use for humans, for humans. So you can play around with the volume uh, so that when the, the audio is playing, you can control how it is. But usually 100% is good. But when you're talking, you want to lower it and you can just add it in. So if you want to fade it in or fade it out, you can definitely do that. Just play around with it and have fun with it. Let's play it.
so you can definitely do so many things and if you want to change the music just go where you want to change the music add another beat maybe you want something much more fast you see you can just put it in there and say maybe because you have the audio that you have of your own clip you can also just change around a lot of things that you want and i mean the list goes on and on and on the last thing i'm gonna do is add some green screen so you're gonna go it says pip you're gonna go it says stocks so stock is basically your footage or someone else's footage so i have some green screen over here once you add some green screen over here you just go in the right corner where it says chroma and you move it and then the green screen is taken off so maybe you will search for jiffy and you can't find specific things you can definitely put in some green screen stuff or even a video of yourself that you want to put in anything is possible with this app so the power just went off i have no idea if it's like escom or something I, I i don't know i i need to check but anyways this is me just wrapping up the video i'm just gonna play it with the effects that we put on Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Tatenda Hinani. If you're new to the channel, I make videos on content creation and TikTok videos. And I just thought I'd do something really interesting and something vlog like since we are using an app called Vlog Now. So let's get right into it and get to the editing. All right, and that's it. And if you want to save it, just go to the right hand corner in the corner there. And you can choose the resolution that you want to save it in. And it already tells you how big the clip is going to be and you go ahead and export until it's done and you are good to go anyways let me know if you found this app really useful and really fun because everything is just stacked on top of each other you don't need to look for things all the effects are ready made for you you don't need to crack your brain to find where's what and how to do what and what i love this app it makes editing so much easier let me know if you've tried the vlog now app and you'd like to try it give this video a thumbs up if it was actually helpful and if you want me to do more editing editing tips like this maybe a specific thing you want to specifically know on how to do in the app you can let me know and i'll definitely do a short of it to just make your life so much easier like subscribe comment and i'll see you in my next video much love and light Mwah. happy editing